Okay, so we're checking out the only game where you can eat cheeseburgers, snort cocaine, and not do the dishes until you die. It's The Sims 4. In the last episode of Homeschool Torture, one child survived at the end, and this is her. Somewhat ironically, the winner for the name in the comments section was D-. And as someone who takes after her murderous mentor, when I aged her up, she turned into this and decided to style her hair in the ways of LSD. So today, amidst the judgment and lightning strikes that I've recently had, we are going to make two different types of houses, which will hold two different types of people. The first house will be a house filled with health, exercise, and clean living. The other house will be filled with drugs, people acting like slobs, and a total lack of personal hygiene. Because Spleens understands that the best type of cheeseburger is the one that you can go to prison for, our current man family will be the ones that will inhabit the slob house. I will also program everyone's traits so that they are lazy slob bastards. A second family will live in the exercise house and will all have traits that make them extra clean and working hard toward health. And then we're gonna find out which family lives the longest. Now, normally you would say clearly the healthy family would live the longest. Bab Ross's fro cannot protect her from heart disease. And that's when I say this is The Sims 4. There is no protection from anything. You can always tell the difference between one of my Sims that's been like a veteran and ones that's brand new to the family because Colino's over here like stretching out before the inevitable death and she's crying herself to sleep. Okay, so we need two completely different home structures here. Now, I do want them to have as much space as humanly possible. All right, the first house will be in the shape of a B, and the second house will be in the shape of a C. Now, I know what you may be asking yourself. You're like, but Gray, what, what does BC mean? British Columbia, beautiful cocaine? No, it stands for bad choices. <laughs> Had to give you guys over here a little bit more room. I want them to all die in a very feng shui fashion. A lot of people say the grass is always green. That's why I like to give everyone complete glass walls so that they can see what their lives could have been like. Having a house like this in Florida is the worst possible thing you can do to your life because not only does it mean that every single seagull in like a 4,000 mile area is going to headbutt your glass and kill themselves on your property, but you'll also bake, like bake to the point where you'll die. So this C doesn't just stand for choice, it also stands for cancer. You can always tell the difference between a Floridian house and any other house because of the way that different real estate agents market it. Anywhere that's not in Florida, they're always like, look at all this natural light. In Florida, they're like, do you know what this house is good at? Killing your family. All right, here we go. Oh, wouldn't want to forget this area. All right, the folks over here get the cheapest kitchen. Folks over here get the fanciest kitchen. Man, you know your kitchen is awesome when you get tetanus just from turning the burners on. Now the slob house gets no trash cans. However, what they lose in trash cans, they make up for in a huge bag of cocaine. All right, so over here, we get a bathroom that looks like we found it in an abandoned mall in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. Oh, and they only get one, by the way. I would hate it for my Sims not to be urinating all over themselves since they're going to be living inside of the slob house. And then over here, we have bathrooms that are made from gold and the tears of the less fortunate. I'll give them four of these. It's always a fun time when I go into someone's house and their bathtub costs more than my car. All right, now for the the bedroom over here. Uh, it's not too bad. It feels like someone may be waiting underneath the bed to stab you in the side and remove your organs so that they can sell it on the black market. But is there a better color scheme? Ah. Now I do want to give everyone plenty of places to sleep. And then over here we got bedrooms that look like Michelangelo vomited all over them. There is something that I forgot to put over here. Yeah, in order to cover up a lot of the scratches on the woodwork. And that is obviously huge bags of cocaine. I could see someone walking into this bedroom and like immediately turning around and being like, I'm allergic to felonies. All right, now we need a living room where everyone can cry together. Make sure that all of the upholstery is in a infantile vomit green. All right, now I'm gonna have to get rid of this stereo uh, because there's no life enrichment in this house. Anything that could potentially enrich lives is replaced with drugs and candy. Okay, so over here for entertainment. Uh, everyone's gonna need stuff that can keep them fit and healthy. Throw down a basketball hoop in here. Nice dance floor because that'll keep everyone fit. Get to multiple personal home gyms. Here's a freaking rock climbing wall. And yes, what the hell, an entire freaking bowling alley. <laughs> And this object over here will designate the healthy house. This over here will designate the death house. Now you may be saying to yourself, but great, this house over here 
has home gyms and bowling alleys and rock climbing walls. What do you do for fun over in the cocaine house? Well, besides cocaine, obviously one of the main rooms in this house is going to be a ton of full liquor bars. Hell, I'm more than willing to give them two full liquor bars. Now everyone over in the lazy house obviously gets to play tons of video games. Throw down another cocaine bag over here. Give them the ability to have more sugar and candy. Forgot to give the folks over here a way to wash and dry their clothes. Give these folks over here a gigantic hookah. Here's a nice chair that looks like it was made by discarded Amazon boxes. Let me give everyone a nice Billy Bong Thornton over here. I'm serious, that's actually what it's called, the Billy Bong Thornton. Everyone gets a nice computer from 1979 and a desk chair that will probably give you splinters in your ball sack. I'm gonna give everyone a nice fishbowl too. This way they can watch as their only companion and die slowly in front of them. Give the folks over in the health house some nice yoga mats and give the folks over here a way to get diabetes. Actually, here's a couple of ways to get diabetes. Give everyone over here a nice dining table made out of melted down adult toys. And over here, they get a dining table made of distilled judgment. I felt like this, this side over here, the unhealthy side needed some extra decorations. So here's a bunch of tombstones of animals that they've wantonly killed. And the folks over here can look outside to see a fountain made of solid gold. All right, the folks over here get a dishwasher and the folks over here don't even get a kitchen sink. In fact, I'm getting rid of anything that can wash plates. I feel like the folks over here needed more stuff to be able to do. So we'll go ahead and uh, throw down a ton more of these. All right. We're finally ready to set up our two families. Okay, the two families are now completely entrapped inside of their houses with this family over here having traits such as active, neat freak, sober, and straight-edged. These are the types of folks that wear sunglasses inside and keep their shirts open so that you can look at their gluten-free abs. And then over here we have the battle-hardened man family who have traits such as slob, lazy, alcoholic, and clubber. I gave them a couple of extra hookahs as well because I thought they needed more to do as well as some additional video game machines. Now as I remove the only conduit to the outside world, we shall see who truly shall be the last to survive. I love how every single person on the man family is uncomfortable and every single person on the other side is confident. We haven't even started yet. Okay, I just had a no excuse. We just began the challenge. How are people pissing on the floor already? We haven't even started yet. It's D minus. She's like, I wanted to set some records, so here I am. D minus is the fastest sim to have ever urinated themselves in any challenge I've ever had, ever. Now, while the man family is waxing down their house with delicious urine, over here, these health nuts are throwing blocks at screens and playing basketball. Oh, I just noticed you guys have TVs that you can enjoy without actually working out. That's not how this goes. Get on the goddamn treadmill. There we go. You gotta put on your best Uma Thurman wear and start doing yoga. What are you, um... What are you doing there, LSD? I see you looking real close at some of those bills on the table. LSD's like, you know who draws straight lines? Me! LSD is now feeling a confident plus 10 from Peacock. <laughs> Coming over here to join her, Colino. Colino's like, I'm gonna do one in each nostril. Florida man's like, what do I do? Do I use the bathroom or do I use a bunch of illegal drugs? Illegal drugs it is. <laughs> Look at the eyes. <laughs> Someone would be like, how do you feel, Florida man? And he'd be like, I feel great. Yeah, sure, why not have a double? All right, over here on the healthy side, individuals are hitting strikes. Look at this, running on the treadmill, falling on the treadmill. I know when I said, that Florida man had to pick between using the bathroom and using drugs. Some of you may have thought, well, those aren't mutually exclusive. No, they are, they are. He only had time for one and he decided to choose the drug one. We just had our third sim over in the slob house piss on himself. Uh, it was Australian man. Australian man, I do appreciate that your bladder was stronger than Florida man's. You can see that the health sims are over here in their athletic wear having a midnight snack. You've got uh, some uh, yogurt and fruit. Meanwhile, over in the slob house, the midnight snack is more cocaine. <laughs> oh my God, we had a death and it's not even 12 hours in. <laughs> I've never seen Colino look more like spleens in my entire life than right now. It almost appears like his eyes are preparing to jettison out of his head. And man down. Uh? Did, did, she, did she just fart? on his dying body. <laughs>
This house is amazing. I've never been so happy to do a challenge in all my life. Death is over here. He's like, all right, let's take a look at uh, some of Colano's vitals right before he died. I'm seeing a blood pressure here of 820 over 2010. Yeah, Death, that's what happens when your breakfast, lunch, and dinner is all just stimulants. Meanwhile, over here in the meat house, people are taking their dishes and are putting them into the dishwasher. Spleens came over to the drug house. She's in here and she's like, this place smells delicious. You can see the little Roomba over here doing its thing, keeping the house nice and clean. Spleens is looking at all the drug abusers in this house and she's like, it is really sad when I have the best teeth here. Tonsil still can't figure out what he's looking at. He's like, he's like, what is that over there? That's a healthy lifestyle, Tonsil. I know it's something the man family never had. What, um, what's happening over here? Because she's not naked. She, she, she has all of her clothes on and yet it's blurring out her bottom half. She's like, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Underwear. I love that most of the people in this house wake up hungover. Meanwhile, most of the people in this house have tasty food and a confident lifestyle. I'm gonna call this the health nut house. I'm just gonna shorten it to nut. So over here in the nut house, everyone sits down together for a nice dinner so they can talk about their superiority. Meanwhile, over here in the slob house, well, <laughs> I think you pretty know. I think you pretty much know what's going on. On the plus side, the drug house does get spleens. Notice uh, where spleens is hanging out. Yeah. D minus is over here. She's uh, doing some uh, instant messaging. Her friends are asking her how she's doing. She's like, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing great." And they're like, "Oh, what are you up to?" And she's like, "Dying." <laughs> God, the bathroom has so much urine and clothing, there's almost nowhere to go. I've decided to put some speed on there as well because, uh, you know, just like uh, a balanced diet, I feel they should have the same thing over here. Everyone over here is still working hard. Is that a plate full of friggin' vegetables? You healthy bastards. So now the Sims on this side have started to get negative traits from craving the drugs. Hey there, neighbor. Do I hear the sizzle of something broken? I would like to help you with that. I mean, there's a lot of broken spirits over here. Did he did he just die in front of me just now? He died from embarrassment, like right now. Hey, um, I got something else broken over here. I love that right after a death, the best way to help you forget is this. Okay, this is amazing. The health nuts have managed to set themselves on fire. This may be like the, the neutralizing factor. Yes! One of them actually burned to death! Where's your where's your push-ups now, bitch? You can tell everyone on this side is like celebrating the fact that someone over on the healthy side died. Good to see that Spleens had a good time last night. Tonsils is still just playing outside, chasing his shadow around. Oh my god, this girl over on the hell side set herself on fire. That's literally two fires over here. The unhealthy Sims aren't actually setting any fires because they don't eat. They just use drugs all day and drugs don't catch on fire. We've got another fatality. It's two to two. I love how three of these Sims actually like don't leave this area. LSD came over here to watch some TV with spleens. Died. Meanwhile, over in the health area, this lady is dying of starvation? How? What, she she was like, I wanted to lose so much weight and I starved myself to death. This means that they're three to three again. I like that one of their ghosts came out over here and they're like, I still don't understand how we managed to f this up. Even in death, he's super healthy. He's doing push-ups. Ah, this is something no one has mixed together with the drugs yet. Alcohol. And we've got another death. And I think it just brought me over to the, another person is dying of starvation over in the health house. This guy, he's like, I can't take these goddamn soybeans anymore. No one's gonna sit here and tell me that they don't have plenty of food, okay? They have plenty of different ways to eat. At this point now, the slob house is in the lead. At this point, Florida man is drunk. He is high. He is pissed himself and he still needs more to drink. Meanwhile, over here, people are making a nice salad. Ever since Spleen's discovered TV, she hasn't left the couch. You know, at this point, you guys have gone through an entire bag. Two bags, I'm sorry. Bab Ross dying right next to the hookah that she loves so much. At this point now, we're two on two. No, Florida man, Jesus, no. That means it's gonna be one versus two. Florida man lasted all the way to the end and the winner of our last homeschool challenge is actually the last person left on this. Look at all the negative she has. Coming down, hung over, addicted, craving, but she's still alive. It's all right though. 
she has plenty of reasons to keep going. Spleens is um <gasps> currently vomiting all over the place. <laughs> Carson just discovered a fire. Legit. This means now that it's one versus one. How the hell did he set this thing on fire? It looks like he's trying to cut tomatoes. In what is legitimately the most unbelievable twist I could have ever imagined in my life, it is now one versus one. D minus has legitimately lived a life where all she does is drugs and alcohol. What the hell is that? It's a goddamn garden gnome. I'm tripping so much garden gnomes are popping up inside the house. Oh, she is allowed to eat, I forgot. Just remember, it has to be, you know, diabetes causing items. So she's making herself a nice, a nice cupcake. There it is. This guy over here is like diseased. And yet somehow he is still alive. See, they clearly get to eat. All right, she's on the couch watching TV. He's over there playing with the uh, the active video game session and probably doing the dishes. And she's standing in her own urine and spleens his vomit. Okay, she's finally started mixing alcohol in with her daily routine of, you know, getting high. Okay, this guy had the opportunity to set himself on fire making these tacos, but he's all right. No! D minus finally goes down right in the middle of <laughs> right in the middle of two different urns while it's playing vomits all over her. <laughs> and that means that this guy is the winner. I'd like to mention though that despite having all activities in health and yoga and everything else, he is he is the only man left on this entire side. Well, maybe the difference between living in filth and living an ultra healthy active lifestyle don't really mean as much as i thought they did in the sims anyway folks hope you enjoyed this episode of the sims till next time stay foxy and much love